Hi. In this video, we'll be creating and setting up an AWS S3 bucket and deploying a Gatsby JS application to it. Uh, now, I've recently made a, a video series where we create a blog website using Gatsby JS, this one right here. And I've uh, made a video at the end of the series where we deploy it to Netlify. So I thought I'd make another video where we deploy it to S3 since that's the preferable option for developers nowadays. Uh, by the way, if your application is different, uh, don't worry. That's, we can still deploy it if, as long as it's a Gatsby JS application and it builds without any errors. It's fine. It will deploy just fine. Uh, we will also be uh, setting up a workflow for Travis CI for continuous integration. So we will have Travis CI as this middleman between our code for our application that sits in a GitHub repository that contains our app and our S3 uh, bucket. So each time we make a change in our code, create a new post or whatever, uh, each time we push that code to our Git repository, our uh, Travis CI uh, will automatically uh, build and redeploy our application again to S3. So we don't have to do that manually each time. Uh, by the way, there's this really cool uh, blog post about uh, that talks about this particular procedure exactly by this guy called Justin Hall. Uh, if you prefer that format, it's pretty cool. I'll uh, post a link to this post in the description of the video. Um, so yeah, enough with the chit chat and let's do that. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to AWS. You're going to go to, uh, uh, to S3. And in S3, now we need to create our bucket. And by the way, one thing that I uh, want to mention is that I'm assuming you already have AWS CLI installed. And to double check, you just run AWS dash dash uh, version. And if you don't have that installed, just Google uh, installing AWS CLI. It's pretty easy. Um, yeah. So let's create a bucket and let's name this bucket Gatsby. Oh, I already created that before. Gatsby test deploy. Let's hit next. I'm just going to hit next. I'm not going to change any of these options. Now let's configure this bucket. Uh, first thing is we need to disable uh, all of these um, blocks because we need to to have public access to this so let's type confirm and we need to attach a policy that as well gives uh public access i'm going to post a link to this uh, this is from the docu official documentation of aws uh just make sure you go to the second one don't get the first one get the, this second one here and i'm going to paste it and we need to change the name of the bucket to our bucket, which is in my case, Gatsby test deploy. And we hit save. And now our bucket is public. So everything that's in this bucket will be publicly accessible. But we need to enable uh, static website hosting. And we click here, use this bucket to host a website. And the index HTML is the same as index H html and the error is 404.html because that's how gatsby works so we hit save and now we need to get our files uh, on here so let's go to our application so back to vs code for me i'll stop the development server and i'll hit gatsby build to build uh, the files and i'm gonna have to use the command line now because for some reason uh, aws doesn't work on my git bash so I'm going to go to where my project is. So that's in a desktop code underscore blog. And make sure when you go to your project directory, go to the public directory. So change directory to public. And I'll wait for it to finish building all the assets. Actually, I can st start typing out the command. So the command will be AWS S3. Now we're just testing uh, deployment. So S3 CP dot for all the files in this directory, S3 colon slash slash and the name of your bucket. So Gatsby test deploy or whatever you named it. And we'll give it this flag of recursive and we'll hit enter. And it's going to take a while to upload all the files that I've got to the bucket. While it's uploading, let's actually go ahead and set up um, 
Travis CI. So when you go to Travis CI, you, you need to sign in with your GitHub account. I've already done that. So let me open up Travis CI here. So I've already done that. If I go to dash not here to my repositories. Oops, what is this? No, I wanted to go to my repositories. There we go. So um, now you'll have all your repositories here. Make sure that, by the way, your code that you have is already on a Git repository. Mine is already on a, a remote Git repository. And I'm going to check by running git remote dash V. And there we go. It's my GitHub account. So what we need to do is we need to go um, to that GitHub repository. And there's an error because I tried to build uh, the other time. Forget about this. This is not a problem. For you, you're not going to see any build error there or anything because you haven't tried anything. Uh, but you need to go here under environment variables. By the way, you go to settings, you go to environment variables, and you need to uh, add one key called AWS underscore key, all in caps. And to get these keys, you either go to your console, but I suggest on your local machine is easier. You just go to to you, wherever your system is, uh, to your user's uh, folder and to your user and to the directory.aws. And inside of this credentials file, you will find your uh, access key and your secret access key. And you need to grab both of them and add them in the environment variables here. So the key, the access key will go to AWS underscore key and the AWS underscore secret is the secret access key. You just put the name here, the value and you add them and make sure to keep this off for security reasons. You don't want to see these keys in the log files because, uh, this will, can be a compromise. Someone can get your keys and, and do harm to your AWS account with them. So after we add these keys, we need to actually set up the um, a YAML file, which will which will actually trigger. Now, a, a Travis CI has access to this um, Git repository, but it does. there's no YAML file that tells it what to do. So let's create that. So in our root directory, and by the way, I think this is done uploading. Yes, it has. So if we go to S3 and if we refresh, we'll see that all of our files have been uploaded to our bucket. And if we go to that, uh, no, we go to property, static hosting, and we click on that endpoint and we see our application. So it's all up and running and all the pages work. So our app is already up and running, but obviously we want to automate the process. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, for now, I'm going to delete all these files just to show you like, uh, that it works through Travis CI. So yeah, it's going to delete all the files now. So let's go configure Travis CI. So in the root directory, you create a file called dot Travis dot YAML Y M L. And this will take a language, which is node underscore JS. And no, it will take node underscore JS. And this will be the version of node. And you will do dash space. Uh, I'm going to give it 814.0. And an install command, which is yarn. And we'll give it a script on what to run when we push, which is Gatsby build to build our assets. And it will take a deploy. And in here, you need to click tab. Uh, in YAML files, uh, indentation is really important. Okay, so provider is S3. And we need to give it the access key. So access key ID is the environment variable that we added, AWS key. And the uh, secret access key. Oops, key is the AWS secret that we added. And we need to give it the bucket name. So bucket, bucket is, uh, in my case, Gatsby test deploy. And we need to give it this uh, skip cleanup, skip underscore cleanup. 
and let's set this to true and this access control thing I'll set it to public read public underscore read and the last but not least local directory we'll set this to public let me just make sure I didn't misspell anything yeah that looks good okay so we save this and we need to add and push so git add yeah git add I thought I was in the public folder for a second and in the same line I'm gonna do and git commit um, I'm gonna say configured Travis CI and in the same line still I'm gonna push so git push and it commits and it should push and now when we push with this file this should trigger the build in in Travis CI so if we go um, if you go here and go to current it should start um, it should start a new build now ignore this uh, failed build this was me trying to do that uh, two hours ago so yeah it's uh, this is yellow that means it's it's undergoing right now so it's trying to it's it's attempting to build our application and remember I deleted all the files so the bucket is empty again and now it should be populated through the build through uh, Travis CI and if we click I believe here we can see as well the log what what's happening all the steps of what's happening what what Travis CI is running and in case there's an error we can uh, debug from here we can know what what's gone wrong and uh, this is gonna take a while so I'll be back once it's done okay so now that it's done um, deploying um, actually there was a mistake so if you notice this is my third build so if, we, if I go to the history this one failed for some reason and then I ran it again you can do that sometimes it fails for some reason and then it told me uh, that I'm it's missing an access key and I realized that I I made a typo here so I had to fix and push again but now it's sorted so it's built so just make sure to leak, read the log to actually understand what's happening so if I refresh here my uh, s3 bucket we should see the files up here and we do if we go to property to static uh, hosting and if we go there we can see our pages everything is fine and to show you how cool uh, Travis CI is is that we can like let's say this is our blog site right we want to post a new post we can just come here uh, go to our pages posts let's do a fifth post right so let's create a new file let's call this 005 fifth uh, post.md and it's gonna say fifth post and our author is John Doe and posted on the 5th of December and say new post on Travis CI and if we save if we do um, we don't even have to build locally no, I type Gatsby so we do git add and git commit Oop. git commit new oh boy new post and git push and now when we push our push will trigger the um, Travis CI uh, workflow and it will build there and push again to our S3 bucket so if we go to Travis CI well obviously we don't have to but just to demonstrate so this was our successful build now that uh, that we made a new commit called new post now it's uh, processing this one so it's gonna run for like a bit over a minute so I'll be back once it's done okay so it's done deploying again so if we go to um, to our uh, to our s3 bucket and we refresh and there we go we get our fifth post that we just added so easy as that that's the cool thing about setting up continuous integration we don't have to uh, deploy manually ever again 
So yeah, um, I guess that's it for this video. And uh, thank you for watching. Um, please, if you like the video, uh, make um, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions or concerns, or if you had like an error or anything, uh, make um, feel free to post them in the comment section. I'll be I'll be glad to respond to them. So thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.